Hi, I'm Randy Altman. We're here at Simpty Day One. This is um, Mike McGee from uh, Fame Store. He is the co-founder and chief creative officer, and he is fresh off a presentation here at the show. Can you talk a bit about the presentation and what it was about? So my presentation was really to, first of all, introduce Frame Store and explain that traditionally we've been a company that's made Oscar-winning VFX for flat screens, whether that's cinema or television. But now we've diversified into multi-platform work. We're creating content from mobile phones, tablets, PCs. Uh, we create different resolution uh, content for giant indoor and outdoor screens. We're working on AR, VR, MR, all the realities, as well as doing theme park rides. Okay, so your traditional business, as you said, was, was in films. Um, how would you break it down now in percentages in terms of the traditional work and what you're doing now in mixed reality? So it's really quite difficult to break down percentages. I, th I think the, we have more people in the company that work on films just because of the scale of the teams that work on them. Mm -hmm. But in terms of uh, growth and new opportunities and the most exciting work, I think some of those are coming from the, the new platforms. And by new platforms, I, I, I'm not just talking about a mobile or a tablet. I'm right. talking about something like converting a, uh, an American school bus into a giant virtual reality headset and then entertaining and educating children within that platform as a new way of telling stories and engaging audiences. So how big a um, transition was it for your company to move into that world, or was it just sort of a natural progression? I think digital content is a natural progression um, because we create content, and whether that's then put on a huge cinema screen, an IMAX screen, or whether it's played on your phone, it's still the same uh, skills of storytelling and creating stunning images, uh, which are what our core business is. And what we're doing now is just applying that to new opportunity, to, to new areas, to new um, environments. Sure. So, so for the artists and the technicians, it's business as usual, but just with a different size canvas. Sure. But we're having to bring in new skills. We need more engineers. We need more coders. We need real-time expertise. So we're drafting in new skills to fit with our existing skills to keep us relevant as we go forward. Why don't you tell us um, how many studios you have and, and where they are? Because you guys are a global company. Yes, we, we started in London back in 1986. Uh, we now have offices in Los Angeles, in Chicago, in New York. Uh, we have a, a major film office in Montreal, as well as a, an outfit in Pune in India, and a small office just in Beijing. So we really are a, a global outfit, uh, and we employ people from all different nationalities and backgrounds because it's, it's really important for us to have the diversity not just of ethnic groups and, and women, but to have a cultural contribution um, to the way we solve problems. And as we're telling stories in different languages, in different parts of the world, it's really crucial for us to have that right mix of people solving the problems. Are you ever surprised, like when you open a new studio in a different country, are you ever surprised at, at how different it is from the businesses that, that already exist I know you do a lot of research and all that, but it, wonderful surprises, anything that's, that's happened in, in that way. I guess when we open a new studio, we, we do it first by exporting the culture of Framestore, and often that's taking a team that already works within Framestore and then putting them into the new uh, territory or the new area. But then when, when you're servicing um, the requirements of that new area, so we've been doing a lot of work with China recently, you notice that, or you realize very quickly, that you have lots of um, cultural gaps uh, and interpretations of stories that need uh, local input. But what, what I found really rewarding is when you put together the local people with the people from Framestore, that you come up with new ways of doing things that, are, that, that work for both parties. So the, the West gets something out of the story and the Chinese get something different out of the story. And that for me is what's really exciting to, to keep coming up with uh, original concepts, original ideas, combined with technology innovation as well yes. um, to keep everything fresh and, and first time. I was going to ask you about using game engines in your world now because that's really sort of opened up this whole, this whole new world of what you could provide and how you tell stories. Can you talk about what that's meant for Framestore? 
Yes, ga game engine is um, using game engines to create uh, real-time content um, means that we can now create uh, stories that are that are more immersive, that are more interactive, and that give people a deeper sense of immersion in 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 the sorts of narratives that we really want to tell. And, and, I, and I see that in the reactions we get to people, um, putting 30 school children on an American school bus, as I described earlier. Yeah. When those children got off, they were off that bus, they were truly inspired. You could see they, they believed that one day they could be the next uh, person to walk, the first person to walk on Mars. Um, so I, 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 so I, I love all this uh, new technology and this new, um, new ways to really put you inside a story to be the center of the story mm -hmm. um, and as a, as a veteran VFX artist I, I felt like I'd seen everything it all been done before yeah and you just give us enough time and enough money and, and yeah we can make it for you but I've had a really pleasant time discovering that there's whole new worlds out there that technology is making new ways of telling stories possible right um, that, are, that we couldn't even have imagined four or five years ago so trying to look ahead when people say, well, what's going to happen in three years, in five years? And we're talking today about automated um, vehicles. You know, how will you, how will you be entertained in a, in a vehicle that you don't need to drive? And, right. And for me, this is that's that's where that's where I really enjoy being now. It's 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 not just um, seeing images on flat screens on the wall. I, I get excited about these uh, these uh, images and stories that completely wrap you in wrap around you sure and also other people you can be in there together yeah yeah and share that experience it's not just one because at the beginning with VR and you're just in your headset and you're all alone that's not the case anymore you can share the experience with, with others and you can teach them like you said it's not just entertainment it's also education which is uh, a big part of the stories that you tell as well absolutely I, I think um, the ability to entertain, educate, and inspire. I think that's what's really nice about the, the, the stories we can now tell. It's not just making people jump or laugh or cry. It's yeah. actually giving them knowledge and giving them aspiration. Um, and I think that the, this new technology has a real potential to help people learn as, as a group, to be able to interact whilst they're consuming a story. Uh, and it becomes a lot less passive mm -hmm. and a lot more engaging. And I don't think it's the death, it's not the death of the cinema screen or a TV screen or, or a tablet. We'll still have those platforms, they'll have their place. But these new worlds created through technology will give us new ways of telling stories and, and consuming content, which is really exciting. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost envious of my children who are going to get all of this new wave of um, immersive experiences. Uh, without having to worry about how it's being made, where it's coming from. Yeah. It's fantastic. Well, Mike, thanks so much for coming and chatting with us today. It was really nice to meet you. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.